Hey everybody, uh, Backstar here. Uh, just like I promised uh, yesterday, I'm going to quickly play through my RPG, my text-based RPG, and just to show you guys what I have so far, and uh, you can let me know what you think. This is a little lopsided. That's ah, okay. And uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. I made a couple of changes since yesterday, actually, to it. Uh, just some quality of life stuff. Um, and also I fixed a uh, fixed a bug too. So technically you could run away without kind of any penalty before. You could just kind of run away whenever you wanted to. And even if you failed to run away, you could just spam run away until you actually ran away. Um, because it was taking into account whose turn it was basically. So what I've done is I actually added the run away function uh, to, um, to the player's actual decision on what um, magic or attack ability or items uh, you want to use. So now it's technically a skill instead of just like a random function that you can call and it's it, it, it like turn order is taken into account in that way. So yeah, we're actually going to be playing it out of this uh, executable jar file that I made and uh, we're going to be playing it in the command prompt in Windows. So made a little little readme here as well to um, explain some things to people who I've sent it to. So yeah, let's get it started. Uh, we are already one minute and 45. Man, I talk. I talk, don't I? I just like to talk. I think it's a little quiet. I think I think this is a good volume, right? No, this is too loud. I had my uh, volume turned down on my headset, so I can. I thought it was it was too quiet. So I think that's appropriate. I think I think that's pretty good uh, ratio to my voice to game sound. So I I hope I have no idea. <laughs> uh, we're gonna play as the wizard. Plays the wizard who has really high May the spirit magical, of arcane protect me. Really high magical attack stats, so yeah. There we go. So we're in White Church. Uh, I will be reading all the text just because. Greetings, wizard. Your kind is welcome here in these trying times. This is Pepin the Alchemist, by the way. Uh, Griswold the Blacksmith runs this smithy just north of here, and our monastery lies to the east, just on the ridge. I would stay clear of the local wilds if I were you. There have been many incidents in recent days. Farewell, traveler. Do I have any more coffee? No. That's okay. I just figured that uh, my mouth might get a little dry from all the talking I'm about to do. There's not that much text, uh, surprisingly, for a text-based game, so not bad. So let's just hit enter. Our feet are aching from a full day of walking. I'm just going to hit 9 to look at our options here. Uh, we can go to the blacksmithy. Uh, we can enter the wilds, view our character stats, go to the monastery for healing, uh, view our inventory, and equip some items or view our current skills and uh, usable items so let's go to the blacksmithy really quick first and uh, Griswold has a notice here you approach the smithy and notice a sign beside the doorway closed until we receive more ore from the market those unnatural creatures plaguing our town are slowing down business trade Griswold the blacksmith cool so blacksmith is closed let's quickly check our character sheet as you can see, we have uh, 40 magic attack, which is actually the highest offensive stat that any any class has. So the wizard's pretty tough that way, but he's got low defense and lower HP. So, and his HP doesn't grow as quickly um, as the warrior or the rogue. Let's check our items really quick. No reason to uh, equip that, that's already equipped. I'm just uh, looking at stuff here, and here's our current physical skills. We have basic attack and heavy swing for physical skills. We have fire for magic skills, and we have a minor health pot and a minor mana pot to heal us ourselves. Um, so yeah, there's nothing really much else to do in town. We can go to the monastery and check that out, but there's nothing really to do there either, so let's go to the wilds. You enter the wilds just south of the outskirts of White Church. The stench in the air is foul. What is that smell? Is that rotting flesh? And 
we run into a skeleton. I think this is exactly how uh, all of this happened yesterday when I was demoing it. So these uh, can actually be random and also the enemies that you run into. So let's hit 9 or uh, hit nine to view our options here. And you can see I've removed Runaway. Uh, you can only use 1 or 3, so you can view our stats with 3 and the skeleton stats. Or we can hit 9 and um, you don't have to hit 9. Uh, or use 1 to use an attack, use, a, use some magic, use items, or run away. So we'll hit 1. Now you can see I have a runaway option here at uh, number 7. But we are going to use fire. Our attack lands and does 38 damage. The enemy is using blood spirit, which is a pretty strong magic spell that does unholy damage and uh, hit me for 30. So let's hit him with another fire. There we go. We got the skeleton down, we've gained some experience and gold, and we found a minor mana pot and potion, which is nice, actually, because those don't drop too, too often. I think it's only like a 30% chance to drop an item, so I am going to heal just to get my uh, mana and HP back, and this is a bug. This shouldn't be happening. I don't want to get into it now because I want to play through the game, but... Uh, it's kind of a frustrating bug. I, I really, really don't understand why it's doing that, because it doesn't always do that. <laughs> um, whenever you restore your MP in any fashion, whether you use a mana pot or you use the monastery or you level up, sometimes it grabs the max health value, and I, I really don't understand that, uh, and other times it doesn't. So other times it's calculated properly. I really don't understand that, but no problem. It's part of the programming, you know, Gonna, they're, they're gonna be bugs, you know what I'm saying? So we run into another skeleton. Let's take him out with some more fire magic. Hits me with a heavy swing. Uh, does the 36 damage. I have pretty low defense, so that's gonna hit pretty hard. The reason why I'm not using basic attack or heavy swing is because that's calculated off your attack stat, and uh, obviously the wizard doesn't have the greatest attack stat in the world, so... I'm gonna hit him with a fire again. Since it's the only spell we have, we took care of him. Uh, we have 44 experience out of 42, so we're going to level up. And I guess, yeah, you guys have never heard the music yet for leveling up. So you can see our MP calculated back to a proper value. It got minus 96, but it actually did go up from what it was supposed to be at before. So great. And that was a big stat boost. We got three to like everything and two to magic. Um, but that won't always be the case. Those numbers will, will be different every time you level up, depending on their individual growth rates. So you make it out alive. The large cave nearby looks ominous. You can hear the wind howl by the entrance. What's this? It looks like a new magical spell. You have learned the magic skill lightning. So now we have lightning. Pepin the Alchemist says, Oh, clearing the wilds of monster folk, are we, wizard? Our town thanks you. If you keep that up, you might just open a way for the caravan to arrive to our market. So, if we go to the blacksmith, he can't uh, open up because he doesn't have any ore from the market. So, maybe if we uh, kill all the monsters or, or kill some monsters in the wilds, uh, we'll allow the caravan to arrive, which is what we're doing right now. Um, so, I'm just going to hit six right now to look at our spells. And as you can see here, we have Lightning now. It also does the same damage as Fire. It costs the same amount of mana to use. Uh, crit chance is the same. Actually, I might change that for Lightning. I'm thinking of Lightning being like a high crit chance kind of theme. But for now, we'll just leave. Uh, we have full MP, full HP, so let's go uh, back to the wilds and fight again. We've run into a Goblin, so... Goblin's hitting me with a basic attack. I am going to use magic, and I'm going to hit him with lightning, uh, because I know that goblins are weak to lightning, because I uh, kind of programmed the game. And I hit him with a fire by accident, so uh, we're not going to worry about that. We hit him for 35 damage. That's pretty good. He's using lightning on me, which only does 21 damage, because uh, we have really high magic defense as a wizard, which is nice. We're going to use Lightning. Enemy is weak to Lightning. We hit him for 45 damage. Nice. We took care of him. The enemy falls before your feet into a crumpled mess onto the ground. There may be a chance to find something of use. Check the body. 
Yes. Well, I find nothing of value. Cool. Uh, so now we're back in town. I'm just going to quickly check my MP and HP. Yeah, I think we can take out another enemy with that. Cobalt. We're going to hit Cobalt with a fire attack because they're weak to fire. And I critted him. So I got hit for 77. Uh, Wizard's kind of OP. I might have to tune him down a little bit. <laughs> Even though he has low defense, he does get hit really hard. Um, it's kind of duality of playing Wizard, you know? Like high risk, high reward kind of thing. Um, I am going to go to the Monastery to heal up so I can get some MP and HP. And how close are we to leveling up here? 20 XP away. So the next uh, monster we kill should be uh, good. Goblin hits me with a crit, does 40 damage, basic attack. I'm going to lightning him. Or her. 45 damage, nice. And uh, he's going to use fire. He's probably going to hit for like 21 again. 20. And yeah, we're going to level up, so might as well just do like, uh, magic again. Goodbye. Wow, we're 1 XP short. Good stuff, good stuff. We're going to check to see if we can find anything again, and we find nothing of value. Do I want to heal up? No. Another goblin. Let's take care of him. Quick. He basic attacked me for 24. I'm going to use lightning. I use fire. I keep doing that. <laughs> he just crit me. I have 40 HP, and I have not enough mana. So... How much HP does he have? 22? Okay, we can kill him. We can kill him. Okay, good. He didn't, like, crit me or something. Let's use magic. Let's use lightning. No, I don't have enough magic. I'm so stupid. Uh, I think I just died. I just died. <laughs> well, now you guys get to see what it's like when you die, so that was really stupid of me. I lost 30 gold and 20 XP, which is kind of annoying, actually. But... Should I heal my MP? Yeah, let's just heal the MP. Okay, we're fighting another goblin. This time, uh, we're not going to die. Uh, the death penalty isn't too, too strict, at least at the beginning of the game. We critted him for 66 damage. Nice. We got one hit. Yeah, that, that's a little bit too strong. Uh, we don't find anything of value once again. Let's go kill one more enemy, a skeleton. Let's hit Skeleton with Lightning. Why not? Do 42 damage. He uh, basic attacks us for 25. Let's hit him with another Lightning. There we go. Find a Minor Health Potion. And we level up. Good stuff. So you can see here we only got one attack this time. At one speed, but two to everything else. Hello again, Wizard. Were you looking for Griswold? A caravan carrying ores has just arrived. You should have the smithy open if you need wares. You can find them in the smithy just north of here. So We've cleared enough monsters from the wild now uh, that the um, smithy is open, so let's go check that out. Whoa! What can I do for you? Okay, if you guys don't know where the sound is coming from yet, then I'm sorry. You should know. Uh, so welcome to Griswold Smithy. What can I do for you? You have 150 GP, you can buy a longsword, an oak staff, a dirk, or some ringmail, which is armor. I should actually probably add some UI here to, to, to tell you whether or not it's a weapon or a piece of armor. Yeah, I should definitely do that. He also sells True Strike and Rampage, which are two physical uh, skills. So, Finally, that caravan just arrived with the ores a few hours ago. Those blasted monsters lurking outside of town are hindering the business. There is something special about those goblin weapons and armor, though. Wish I could get me hand on some. I just might be able to figure out what makes them special. Sorry, lad. Lost my train of thought. I haven't seen one of your kind in a while. What can I do for you, wizard? So I'm just going to hit enter. If you come across any enchanted equipment, well, I could try to learn how it is crafted, and then use those methods for my own creations. I should probably start with something easy. Probably. So hopefully you guys could hear that. Uh, he wants us to maybe find some special metal. We can both turn a nice profit if he can deliver the right goods to me. What do you say? I say yes. So, uh, Griswold has just given us a quest to 
find some stuff. So you can see here in the main uh, menu now, uh, maybe you can find a goblin metallurgy example for Griswold to inspect. So we're going to go do that. I have full everything. Let's go. Let's go do that. Do I? Yeah, let's go do that. A level five skeleton. So yeah, once you hit level four, uh, the caravan arrives with the ores and opens up the shop for you, and uh, all the enemies in the wilds level up, so they should all be some random level between 4 and 5. Let's go check the stats quick. So he's got 155 HP now, uh, some more MP, and his stats are a lot higher, so let's see how we do. I'm going to hit him with lightning. And we crit him for 60. That's really strong. And he crit us with Blood Spirit. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, we did 70. Let's hit him with a Lightning again. 40. Ooh, he heavy swinged us for 90 and crit. That's nuts. That's nuts. Uh, this guy is really strong. <laughs> lightning. Okay, we survived, right? Barely. We have one HP. Okay, we're gonna take him out. Do we have enough MP for a spell? We do. Let's take him out. Oh, if that missed, I would have died. So I kind of risked it for the biscuit there. I didn't want to use a, a potion just yet. I'm trying to save my potions because I know what's coming. And we get another minor health potion, which is really good. Good value. Wowzer. So we're gonna heal up real quick. Get full HP, get full MP. Go back. So right now we're looking for a goblin. Another skeleton of the level five variety. He crit us with Blood Spirit again. So Blood Spirit is an unholy magic spell that has high crit chance. Higher crit chance. It's not like 50% or anything like that. But So we have 99 HP. He's got 88. I think we can do this. Sorry, I keep checking the stats to make sure I'm not dying. I'm actually going to add some UI to show the enemy's health so you don't have to do that. And I'm thinking about obfuscating these stats here so you can't see what kind of defense and magic defense the enemy has. You kind of have to like parse that information by trying out different stuff. That's why it doesn't show their weaknesses here or anything like that either. And I'm also... yeah, I'll get to that later. Uh, I missed my lightning attack, so he's going to hit me for 45. I'm just going to run away. Hopefully this works. There's actually a pretty decent chance it won't because he's one level higher than me. Okay, I ran away. Good stuff. I'm going to heal up. And uh, one of the first things on my list to do is definitely get some ring mail because uh, it's, it provides really good defense and magic defense and some HP and some MP bonus. So it's really good. A level 4 Cobalt. This should be much easier to take out. He does get to attack first because he has higher speed than we do. I'm um, going to hit him with a Fire Magic and miss. Holy, I am missing a lot. But he does way less damage. Thank, thank God. And now I cured him with Fire, so that made up for the miss. So, still kind of salty. Magic, Fire. There we go. He's gonna basic attack me. I've got 99 HP and 18 MP. You can see that here. Uh, let's hit him with another fire. And we crit him. He should probably die. There we go. And we leveled up. Beautiful. Got a health potion. Good stuff. Um, so we leveled up. Don't need to heal or anything like that. I do still want to run into a goblin. Perfect. Uh, he's level 6, so... Pretty tough, actually. Hit me for 42. We're gonna hit him with a lightning. Hit him for 55. That's pretty good. He hit us for 41. 58. Lightning won't do as much damage as a basic attack, yeah. We like when enemies use magic against us as the wizard. I'm actually going to nerf the wizard's uh, magic defense a little bit. I think it's a little high. And possibly, possibly his magic stat, but I, I do want him to have like high magic. That's the whole point. Uh, the enemy falls before your feet into a crippled mess on the ground. There may be a chance to find something of use. Check the body. Yes. Hmm, what's this? This goblin weapon. Maybe Griswold could use this. Acquired a, a goblin sword key item. Looks pretty sharp, actually. This must be what Griswold wanted. It is what Griswold wanted, yeah. So we're back in town. We just leveled up. 
I'm going to heal first. And we're going to go talk to Griswold. Wow, what can I do for you? Well, I've got something for you, dude. Yeah? What have you got there, wizard? Oh, is that a goblin sword? Let me take a look at that. Oh, the secrets of this metal are fantastic! Oh, how I can make the right item gleam with power! Mm hmm. Oh, yes, I see. Give me a few hours, wizard. I will make you a weapon the likes of which you've never seen. You may want to go speak to Pepin. He mentioned that he has an important task for you. I don't know if he's mentioned it to you, but he runs the apothecary in town. You should find him there. Come back to me after you've spoken with Pepin. I should have your reward finished by then. So that might seem strange to you guys, because what apothecary? Right? It's not in our options. Pepin should be waiting in his apothecary for you. Check your menu options. Talk to Griswold once again after you've spoken with Pepin for your reward. Um, so I'm going to follow their advice and check my menu options. And, oh, look at that. We have apothecary now at 7. So... At seven. What ails you, my friend? What ails you, my friend? Now we're in uh, Pepin's apothecary, and he sells potions, uh, health and mana potions, which cost 100 GP. There. Well, you know what I'm thinking of doing actually is increasing the price of the potions a little bit because they're pretty strong. Either that or decreasing it to less than 50% of your max HP because they heal a lot. It makes the game really easy. Well, it doesn't make it easy, it just makes it like, you know. Anyways. And he also sells some uh, different magic spells and stuff too. So he sells Divine Strike, Blood Spirit, Tempest, and Inferno. So Divine Spirit, or Divine Strike and Blood Spirit cost 250 GP. They each have a power value of 1100. They cost 12 mana. Um, you can see Blood Spirit has a 20% chance to crit, whereas Divine Strike only has 10. But Divine Strike heals the user for one sixth of the damage dealt and does holy damage. Blood Spirit does unholy damage and doesn't heal you, obviously. Tempest has a power of 1350. It costs 20 to use. It has a high crit chance as well. It does 20% crit chance. It does lightning damage. Inferno has the highest power of all, 1650. Also costs 20, but it has regular crit chance, regular miss chance. So let's talk to Pepin here. Oh, wizard, I'm glad you are here. I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Idiots. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. Hmm, I wonder where this water source could be. Maybe if you guys have watched my video yesterday, you might have an idea. Okay, I was just going to tell us for now anyway. I think the source of our town's water comes from the underground water system that runs through the caves near the wilds outside of town. Please, be careful. I've heard the sounds, the eerie howls, and whimpering of the creatures that occupy those caves. Give Griswold my thanks for bringing you here. Griswold knows as much about the art of war as I do about the art of healing. He is a shrewd merchant, but his work is second to none. Oh, I suppose that may be because he's the only blacksmith left here. Indeed. So we're going to leave the shop. We have 208 GP, and we're going to save that. Um, and... Hit up Griswold. Wow, what can I do for you? He can give me your reward. So you can hear him uh, hammer at the anvil a little bit there. Aha, look at this beauty. Here, wizard, it's yours. Thank you for bringing that goblin sword to me. Long sword of fire added to inventory. It glows a bright, white hot red. Pepin has told you the truth. We will need fresh water badly, and soon. Uh, I've tried to clear one of the smaller wells, but it reeks of stagnant filth! All right, all it right. must be getting clogged at the source! Mm -hmm. I've heard that our water comes from the caves just out outside of town, near the wilds. Uh, you seem pretty strong, wizard. Can you check it out for us? So we're gonna exit. I bet you when he dips his, uh, his hot iron-forged metal into the stagnant water, it smells real bad in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I've got full HP, full MP. Let's go hit up the wilds. Run into a goblin. He's gonna hit me with fire. I'm gonna hit him with lightning. He misses. I don't. 
Basic attack me for 40, lightning again. So now that you guys have seen the first little bit, I'm going to be playing a little bit faster. Basic attacking me again. How much HP do I have? 145. 13 MP. Oh, we crit him. He's dead for sure. There we go. Uh, we're about to level up. The next time we kill an enemy, I believe. We don't find anything of value. Approach the cave. Yes. You approach the cave. The darkness here seems deep and unnatural. Press enter to continue. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Come on, if you guys really don't know where, the, where this, this audio is coming from, I mean... You venture deep into the caves. You notice a glinting light off to the side of your vision. Do you check it out? Enter one for yes or press enter to continue. I'm gonna hit yes. What's this? It looks like a new magical spell. You have learned the magic skill Unholy Strength. It's a really good spell. Definitely gonna nerf it. It's a little bit too good. You light a torch to bring some light to your surroundings. Immediately you hear loud sound come from behind. <laughs> So we run into a level 9 satyr. What level am I? I shouldn't have come to the caves. I was thinking about it and I forgot about the run mechanics change now, so I can't just like run away easily. But we're going to try and run away. Because <laughs> he's going to... Hurt us. Okay, he only did 60. We're going to run away. Please? Oh, that was lucky. I think I only had like about a 35% chance to run away or something like that. I got away, we're gonna heal up. So yeah, I obviously ran away because we didn't have full HP, we didn't have full MP, and yeah, it's just not a good idea. So we're actually gonna fight in the wilds for a little bit before we go in the caves because the caves have a minimum level of like nine. So the enemies in the caves, I should say. So we're gonna fight some um, wilds people for a bit. Wilds monsters. Until we grind just a little. He's lightning. He's dead. Leveled up. Beautiful. Got a minor health pot, which is really nice as well. And uh, if you're curious about this, you can't find anything of value. The only thing it's used for is finding the goblin sword for now, but I am thinking of making goblins have like a 10% chance to, if you search their body, that they have like extra loot. Um, like a like a weapon or a piece of armor or something or, or a unique item that you can use. So we're not going into the caves, no. Oh yeah, I forgot to say uh, this current hint uh, in White Church as well. You may need to upgrade your equipment and skills if you want to stand a chance. Pepin sells potions in the, in his apothecary. You may need some extra. You definitely will. You definitely will. Run into a goblin. He basic attacks me. I'm gonna hit the lightning again. So I'm not just grinding for levels, I'm also grinding for uh, GP. Because we're going to need some GP to buy new magic spells. And um, and armor and stuff like that. I did kind of make all the mage or wizard stuff really expensive too, so that's kind of meh. Minor mana pot. We have 7 MP. Yeah, let's heal up quick. Every time we heal, it costs 18 gold, so... Eh. Um, yeah, let's go fight. We ran into a cobalt, so we're going to use fire. Hit him pretty hard. He missed his heavy swing. We're gonna fire again. Crit us with the basic attack. Ouch, jeez. Fire. 30 minutes in, eh? So you know what I'm actually going to do really quickly is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to grind for a little bit, maybe like two levels. It won't take me that long, maybe five minutes or something. But I, uh, yeah, around five minutes or something. But I don't want to um, just grind. A little bit like while on camera because there's like no new material and I kind of just want to show like the new material off so so we kill a cobalt uh, we didn't level up or anything and uh, yeah I'm just going to stop right now really quick okay be right back 
All right, and we're back. Uh, literally took only like five minutes, uh, maybe not even, to be honest. And um, we are now level eight. Uh, our next level is 850 experience, which is pretty up there. And um, we're going to go start uh, exploring the caves a bit and, and leveling up in there, at least for a, f a couple of levels. And, um, and go on from there. We now have 506 GP. So what we're going to do first off is hit up Griswold here. Wow, what can I do for you? And we're going to buy the ring mail. So I've spent 365 GP. I now have 141 left. And I've acquired ring mail. Ah, good choice, wizard. Griswold. Thanks, dude. I'm going to hit exit. I'm going to change that probably too, so you don't have to like type exit. Maybe just like punch in a sequence of numbers. Maybe like uh, 333 or something like that. Or 7. Maybe 7 to escape like you run away. That'd be pretty okay. Except for if I want to add more items to the thing, uh, to his list, his inventory list, it might be 7. So maybe, maybe like 3 numbers or something would be good. Or even a couple of numbers would be sufficient. But anyways. Uh, let's go into our inventory now. And I'm really dumb, because this whole time I've been fighting, he gave us a long sword of fire. And, uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys were yelling, being like, Yo, Bax, you just got a long sword of fire, like, you're not going to equip that? I'm going to equip that now, so. This whole time we've been using a knife, which only gives us one attack and one speed. But now we're going to equip the long sword of fire, which gives 45 HP, 10 magic, 5 attack, 2 defense, and 5 magic attack. It's much better. There we go. And we're also going to equip the ring mail, uh, which is a lot better than the cloak, which only gives us 1 defense and 1 magic defense. But the ring mail gives us 85 HP, 8 MP, 7 defense, and 3 magic defense. Beautiful. We are much more better off now. As you can see here, my character sheet, I now have Longsword of Fire equipped and Ringmail equipped. So that's great. Let's go to the caves. Uh, next thing I want to do is probably pick up another spell from Pepin. Um, because we're still just using Lightning and Fire. And we also have Unholy Strength now. Uh, I, I guess I didn't show you guys that, did I? Let's open up my skill inventory here, and we'll read Unholy Strength. Costs 20 MP. It's an unholy spell that increases magic or attack and magic attack by 20% for the duration of the battle. I'm going to nerf that. I'm going to see if I can make it only for a certain amount of turns, like maybe like three turns or something like that. Uh, might be hard to code. Actually, no, that wouldn't be too hard to code. I was just thinking about like how I have my game set up currently, and uh, because it doesn't really use like a turn system, even though it's kind of, it's like a really rudimentary turn system. But I think I can still code that. I can just have like a, a loop counter that counts how many times it's iterated itself, and then use the modulo operator to uh, check to see if it's done like three turns or something. Then it will reset and go to zero. And if it goes to zero, then your buff is done. I think it's a good way of doing it. Cool. Uh, let's go hit up the caves. Let's go check that out. Um, I think I'm going to add an option that you can go to the caves straight from town. Uh, but right now you have to go into the wilds first to go to the caves. So, But you can just run away from battle, so it's not a big deal. Unless they attack first. Because the wizard's slow. I'm going to run away. Ominous wind howl. All right, let's go to the caves. You approach the cave, the darkness here seems deep and unnatural. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Indeed it has. You venture deep into the caves, you notice a glinting light off to the side of your vision. Do you check it out? Enter one for yes, or press enter to continue. So, last time we did this, we got unholy strength. This time it just must have been a trick of the eye. You light a torch and bring some light to your surroundings. Immediately you hear a loud sound coming from behind. And we run into a level 9 winged terror. So we're just going to quickly check out his stats. He's got 366 HP, he's got 34 magic, and some pretty high stats. But 
and he's way faster than us, so he's gonna hit first. Um, these guys are weak too. I think they're weak to fire. So we're gonna hit them with fire. They are. They used to be weak to lightning, but I decided to make them fire just to make fire a little bit more part of the game. It's arbitrary. It could have been lightning. He hit us for 60 with true strike. And I missed my attack. Hits me with a basic attack, so I don't like True Strike because uh, it's a physical damage ability. Ooh, we crit him. 110 damage. Get wrecked. Alright, we're gonna hit him with another fire here. Hit us for 38. Not too bad. Wing Terror is one of the weaker enemies you can find in the caves, depending on what your class is. Uh, yeah, let's battle. He crit me for 65. I have 180 HP and 21 magic still, so. Seek fire. I also got some water while I was uh, away, so that's always useful. There we go. Let's hit him with another fire attack. There we go, he's dead. He gave us 76 XP and 60 gold. The creatures in this cave are much stronger. I need to be careful. When I hit enter, you heard a water drop. What was that? Another water drop, and then my character was freaking out. Because I ran into a wraith. I don't have a lot of HP, and I basically don't have any mana left or MP. And I got that MP bug again. Totally random when it happens, I swear. So these guys have a higher magic defense than they do regular defense. And I need to, I just realized this says DF. I need to change that to DEF just to keep it consistent. See, I'm learning things as I, as I go here too. Yeah, we're gonna fight. Enemy uses fire and crits me for 63. I'm going to use an item. And the first thing I'm gonna do is mana pata. Oh, right, because my mana's bugged, now I have, like, basically infinite mana, which is nice for me, but not intended. Uh, right now we're going to heal up. Please don't kill me. He's not going to. Yeah. Items. Uh, let's use a mana pot. Let's use one. Or a health pot. 350 HP. Nice. Uh, and now let's battle. Magic. Uh, what am I fighting? A wraith? The reek to holy magic. I don't have holy. Just hit him with a fire for now. Crit me again. This thing's tough. Hit him with lightning for 57 damage. He crit me with a basic attack for 60. I'm not using Unholy Strength right now because it costs a lot of mana, and I think I can do better just with, you know, using my mana to uh, attack. Although I have infinite mana right now, but, you know, again, not intended. I can survive another attack, so let's go for another Lightning. I can survive even another attack, I believe, so let's go for another Lightning. Okay, now I should really heal up. So items, and I'm going to use a health pot, number two. They have a lot of health potions, so we got really lucky. I got that from grinding, by the way. Like, a lot. I think that's that's pretty lucky. I don't think... Uh, may, I, hang on, I'm, I'm probably going to reduce the drop chance for the potions, like I said earlier. Because that is a lot. Um, uh, Lightning. Nice. We defeated the enemy. Found found a mana pot, which is good. This cave is obviously incredibly dangerous. You must find the source of the town's water supply quickly. Another one. And we got ourselves a winged terror here. So these guys are weak to fire. And they're not hitting us as strongly. Uh, no physical skills, please. Just fire. Nice. 
Used Heavy Swing, did about 48 damage. Reduced Fire. Hit him for 71. Basic attack is for 37. We still got 160-ish HP. So we'll just keep going here. He tree strikes me for 60. So the ring mail's helped me out a lot here. Uh, he'd probably be hitting me for like maybe 20 more damage or something like that if I didn't have it. Okay. Ooh. I will use a uh, health potion here. He crit me again with a heavy swing and did, you know, 70, 77 damage almost. Set him with a fire. I think when I level up, my MP will go back to normal too, by the way. How long is this recording? Uh, this one's 11 minutes, and the other one was like 15, 25. This is getting long. And I used lightning by accident, but he died anyway. Good stuff. And we leveled up. And got another mana potion. And yeah, so our MP got put back to normal, which is good. You must find a place to rest. There seems to be some noise coming down from the corridor. Water. I must be getting close. Must be getting close. And there's a lot of water drop sounds now, if you, can, if you notice that. You make your way through the caves and begin hearing the sound of moving water. Just over a small ridge, you see a large pool of crystal clear water. It looks fresh and inviting. You climb down to the edge of the pool of water. Maybe you can rest here. The water from this fresh, clear underground lake is spilling into a pool of filthy, putrid body of water below. What's this? Found stiletto of lightning. Looks like someone or something left this behind. So now we can rest. I'm just gonna hit nine to take a look at our options real quick. So I can uh, rest and drink from the water, which I guess I'll do, even though I just leveled up. Uh. Basically, it heals you up for free. You don't have to pay for it, which is pretty pretty dope. We can look at our character stats once more. Uh, we can equip items. Basically, everything we can do in town. Um, let's take a look at the stiletto of lightning. It gives 10 more. It's technically better than the long sword of fire, just sweet solely because it gives oh no so it does give some more magic like more mp which is nice um and it does give some speed which can help in some situations but we lose five magic attack which is not not what i'm after obviously the higher the magic attack i can have the better for for the wizard anyway how much gold do we have i'm not going to use any items we have 320 gold um, I'm actually not going to uh, go with option two and explore what could be causing the filthy nature of the water below because I know what's coming up next, and I'm going to head back to town for now real quick. You escape the case for now and make your way back to town. And the audio is bugged. Ah, that's annoying for the video too. Sorry about that, guys. I need to fix that. <laughs> We're bug fixing right now. I'm actually going to make a quick note of that. Audio bug when leaving caves. Case seven. Sorry, I'm just trying to decide what I should do here because. What level am I? I'm level nine, and I just leveled up. I think I'm gonna cheat myself to be level nine. I'm gonna give myself all the same items that I had before. And uh, we'll be right back. I'm gonna give myself infinite gold, and I'm gonna buy as many mana and health potions as I have now. If you come across any enchanted equipment, well, I can try to learn how it was crafted, and then use those methods for my own creations. And I should probably start with something easy. This is a really big bug. We can. If you can, we can. I've never seen that before. Why is Griswold talking to me? Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to fix that too. I made some changes yesterday, like I said, with the UI and like the running away, and I and I think I uh, just touched up on the NPCs and stuff and fixed them a little bit. And I clearly did something I shouldn't have. Um, this has never done this before, so I'm gonna have to fix that too. 
Uh, let's just check my uh, inventory really quick. I have. This might be easier if I just have one. I have five health potions and five, six mana potions. And six mana potions. I'm just gonna write that down quick. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back. I uh, I fixed the bugs. Uh, I realized what I did, and uh, whoops, I uh, changed the code, and I didn't even test it because I'm like, oh yeah, that should be fine. Uh, you don't do that. <laughs> so I fixed it. Um, I had this code here called K7. Is if you uh, use seven when you are resting. I had it basically immediately transport the player into the main screen without like leaving the caves first, which turns off all the sound. It uh, it cleans up what's been occurring inside the caves. So I didn't do that housekeeping. I bypassed it, which was stupid. And uh, I just uh, changed some variables around like done resting equals true, for example, like done resting equals true too, if you go to continue on and explore the caves. I'm just going to scroll up a bit just in case you guys were like reading down there like yeah it's not that big of a spoiler because we're getting right to that right now and uh yeah so done resting goes true so it immediately breaks out of this while loop which contains that resting period basically and I also turned on player is running away so that allows you not to be able to continue on in uh, the following code that follows this which is like what's coming up after you explore the filthy water and that takes you right to the end of the caves and uh, boots you out so that is fixed uh, I quickly made my wizard level 9 here I gave him 500 gold I know we had 320 before but I'm gonna give him 500 gold because uh, I'm going to pretend that I grinded for a little bit uh, because I want to buy a spell and uh, I'm going to give myself some pots when I get in the game, and I'm going to give myself uh, items. I guess I'll keep the long sword of fire. The oak staff is better, but I won't equip it. But I'm going give to give myself to it. So anyways, let's start it up. Let's go. Let's uh, finish the... We're almost done here, uh, the content. We're going to play it within here. We're not going to use the command window because I haven't like updated the executable. I, I, I could right now. It doesn't take very long. It only takes like a minute, but... We're just gonna do it in here, so wizard. May the spirit of Arcane protect me. Is this a little too loud? Uh that's a little too loud. We turned it down a bit. So Pepin is gonna do both quests right away because I'm level nine and it checks to see what level you are when he tells you stuff. So really quickly, I'm going to be typing give. Oh, do I want to give away? I'm not going to give away. Okay, basically what I'm thinking is releasing this to you guys. If you want to play it and try it out for yourself, maybe try the warrior class or try the rogue or even try the wizard again if you want and try all the different spells. Uh, that'd be cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys try that out. Uh, but I don't want to give away how to get stuff for free, so I'm going to stop recording real quick. <laughs> okay, uh, we're back. It's only been about like three seconds. I just quickly typed in a command into uh, the console to cheat in a bunch of stuff. Like you can see up here, um, we got some stuff. But I'm not going to tell you how to do that because I just want you guys to play through the game because I'm kind of a, you know, a mean like that, so... Let's go to our inventory really quick. We have a bunch of new items because they cheated them in. Uh, we don't have the stiletto though, but that's okay. We're not using that. We're going to be using the long sword of fire, so that's eight. We're going to be using the ring mail, which is seven. Whoa! And what can I do for can... you? We're going to go to Griswold real quick just to trigger the quest. And go to Griswold again. What can I do for you? Just to trigger everything. So now we have two long swords of fire technically in our inventory, which would never happen if you played the game legitimately. And we are going to. I have potions, right? Uh, 
Okay, I have six of every potion. So, pretty similar to what we had before. I think it was five and six. And we also have, like, all the spells, which I won't be using. I'm only going to be using uh, the spell that I was going to buy, which is Tempest. And, uh, yeah. I also have 99999 GP, because I did that too. And we're going to go fight the caves. Let's run away from the skelly. Real quick. There we go. We're going to go into the caves. Yes. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. I'm going to stop the recording here and skip through fighting. Actually, no, we'll just fight through them again. Why not? Let's do it. We got a satyr here. Uh, use the fine strike on me. Let's use Tempest. Because that's the spell I was going to buy anyway. So Tempest does 1350 damage and it has a high crit chance. It also costs quite a bit of mana. I should have healed after equipping all my items because I, I am seeing that my MP is pretty low. Okay, another bug. Uh, he should not have died in two hits. I think he used Divine Strike on me, which heals the user, and for some reason it decreased the enemy's HP. It works properly for the player. Uh, it works as intended for the player, but I guess it doesn't work as intended for the enemy, so I'll have to fix that. Isn't it beautiful it's just like finding all these bugs? What was that? Another satyr. So if he defines strikes me again, he's gonna lose his HP. Let's tempest him. Oh, I leveled up. Right, because I had zero experience points. Because I cheated that in. <laughs> Through the basic attack, we're gonna hit him with a tempest again. Since it's now our strongest magic spell, I'm not going to use Inferno or Blood Spirit or Divine Strike. That's for you guys to figure out. So let me see if this is like. Ah, uh, right. I can't see his stats right now because I chose the battle. Let's just hit him with the Tempest. And he'll die. Let's grab some water real quick. He's got 7 HP, so I think that Divine Strike took his HP down again. He's gonna hit me with Lightning, I'm gonna hit him with a basic attack. Because he's almost dead. There we go. And our next level XP is, like, higher because... Obviously we're a higher level, so... Run into a Wraith, how much HP and MP do we have? Okay. Let's hit Homie. I'll just use a mana pot. Number 12. There we go. And wraiths are weak too. I'm not going to give that away. Maybe you guys can figure that out. It's not that hard to guess, I think. Nice. I'm actually going to... No, I'm going to keep using Tempest. It does have a high crit chance. I, I'm going to buff Tempest. No, I'm not going to buff Tempest, because it does. It, when it crits, it crits so hard. And it does have, like, double the chance to crit than Inferno, so I think it is a good spell to use. Oh, right, not enough MP. Whoops. Let's just hit him with a Lightning, which I don't have, because I didn't find it. I didn't find it outside the wilds after hitting level 3. So, I'm going to hit him with a basic attack and just see where he's at with HP after that. Because I want to save my, my potions. Hit me for 50. I'm going to... I don't need that many health potions. I'm going to save one of the mana ones, just in case I need it. And just basic attack him to death, basically. And, um... Yeah, you'll see. You'll see. I don't need to say that now. Pretty cool, I think. Why are my attacks missing? We have 360 HP right now, so we're still okay. 
found a mana potion. I must be getting close. We're back to where we were before. I'm going to heal. Ah. Uh. And we're going to explore what's going down. Okay, I've got the long sword of fire equipped. I got the ring nail equipped. I got a lot of potions. It's pretty similar to where we were before, honestly. Except I don't have the oak staff equipped because it's it's pretty strong. We're not going to do that. I'm so tempted to, to test whether my, you know, leave the caves K7 works. Uh, I know it does. Because uh, the way I coded it, it should definitely work now. But we're not going to do that. We're going to continue on. We're, this video is long as F. The smell of death surrounds me. You climb down the ledge and land on the ground with a thud. The smell down here is truly foul. What could, what could be possibly causing this rotting stench? What day? Level 15 Belrog. So, the way that damage calculation works in this game too is that character level is a part of the damage calculation. So, if your character is greatly lower level than the thing you're fighting, even if you have like super high attack stat and super high magic stat, you're not going to do like as much damage is if you had the same stats and your character level was higher or equal to the enemies. So I'm not going to be hitting him as hard as I could if I was like maybe even one or two more levels higher. So I think we can take care of him though. Let's quickly look at the stats, which I'm also think of hiding because like you shouldn't really know what the boss's stats are, I think. But it's nice for like debugging and seeing like how strong he is and stuff. So. So the Balrog has got almost 1,400 HP. He's got 60 MP. He's got 71 attack, 60 defense, 75 magic attack, 62 speed, and 56 magic defense. So he's like way tougher than my wizard right now. But we may be able to take him out. So he missed his basic attack, which is nice. I'm going to use Unholy Strength, which I don't have because I didn't find it in the caves. I just skipped over it. Okay. We can still win. I can hit him with Tempest, so he is weak to lightning, which is why I kind of gave the player the stiletto of lightning beforehand. Ooh. Hit me with Inferno for about 167. Um, again, the wizard has higher magical defense, so it's not as bad if you're a rogue or warrior that would hit harder but you also have more hp so hopefully he doesn't hit me with a hard hitting physical spell because that would that would hurt we can use tempest again we're definitely going to kill him because we have so many potions and stuff he hit us with a basic attack we're still at 400 hp I crit him nice Ooh. okay he missed the rampage good stuff that would have hurt big time. Oh, and not enough MP. Yeah, I should be paying attention here. Hits us with a basic attack. We're going to use a mana potion. I got to nerf a lot of this stuff before letting you guys try this out just to make it a little bit more of a challenge. Tempest. So boss battles are kind of like a marathon in a way where it's like, you know... You gotta be careful. I'm also, right now the boss is just using spells that the player can also learn. But I'm gonna give them boss specific spells too, so that like you can't just like have a bunch of pots and survive just by getting a ton of pots. You have to like get smarter or use some kind of strategy because yeah, I'm gonna give them a spell that does like a crazy amount of damage or something. Ooh, I'm almost dead. 10 HP. He crit me with fire. You hit me for 150 with fire, man. That's nuts. Here we go. We got some HP again. Uh-oh. He rampaged us. It didn't crit. 160. Okay. And we're going to drink a mana potion as well. Basic attacked us for 80. How much HP are we at? 150. I'm going to use another health potion because he can totally one-hit us at that HP. There we go. All right, time to hit him up some Tempest here. Oh, he's rampaging again. Okay, 165. 
Let's hit him with another Tempest. Hopefully he doesn't hurt us with a Rampage or something on the next attack, because that might kill me. I doubt he has enough mana for that now. And he's the basic attack anyway. Let's use a Health Potion just in case. Basic attacked me again. I don't have enough mana for like anything. Let's grab a mana potion. So as you can see, we are using our potions uh, quite liberally here because we have to. So it's a really good idea to potion up before you come fight him and also maybe be a couple levels higher at least. And if I'm being honest, nah, I'm not going to say that. I'll let you guys figure it out. There we go, we got a crit on him. Okay, he's got 245 HP left. I'm thinking about hiding that from the player for the boss, because it's like, oh, man, when is this fight going to end? Like, you know. <laughs> crit me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to use a mana potion again. He crit me really hard. I'm going to use a health potion again. And I think that's the last time I'll need to mana up or potion up. He should be uh, probably dying, I think. Let's get some water real quick. There we go. I have like no mana left. Ah, there we go. We killed him. Got a lot of experience, a lot of gold, and we leveled up. And a mana potion. The monster before you is near death. Time to die. Time to die. You let out a mighty battle cry and deliver the final blow. Okay, you guys gotta know where that uh, audio comes from. I mean, come on. The beast falls before you in a loud thud that reverberates through the caverns. You need to get back and tell the townsfolk uh, that this insipidus creature has been poisoning the water supply. It's been feasting on the creatures in this cave and throwing their dead carcasses into the water of a uh, body of water here. You begin to clean out all of the rotting corpses out of the water and finish within a few hours. You walk back over to the collapsed body of the creature you fell and search its body for some... Let's supposed to say something useful. What's this? Acquired wizard class skill, Mana Pulse. So it has 800 power, it doesn't cost any mana, it has regular crit chance and regular miss chance, but it restores MP equal to the character level divided by 2 and does magic damage. So this is a really good ability. End caves. And we found lightning, because uh, we're back in the wilds technically. So cool, that is uh, pretty much a full playthrough of what I've got so far. It took I probably over an hour, uh, and I know what I'm doing, so uh, it might take some of you guys... Well, you, if you've watched this video, it'll probably take you about the same amount of time, maybe a bit faster, so you, you can read faster than you can like speak and read, and I was explaining stuff, so... But yeah, Mana Pulse is like really good. Uh, right now, my uh, wizard's level 11, so it's going to give us 5.5 MP per hit. And it does the same amount of damage as a basic attack anyway, except, except technically, Mana Pulse, and I have it twice. So I guess you guys saw that when I showed you my skills earlier. But it does magical damage, so it isn't calculated based off of physical damage like a basic attack is. So if you have really high magic attack on the wizard, this is still going to hit like pretty hard. And it doesn't cost anything, and uh, that's really nice. So, and obviously if your wizard is like, you know, level 50, he's going to get 25 MP. And if he's level 99, he's going to get almost 50, uh, 50 MP per or hit on mana pulse so and I don't think I'm gonna like have things that cost 50 might be the max for like the last spells in the game because I think at a max level the wizard's gonna have around like 300 MP maybe so six max level spells in a row before you have to heal up 
Okay, maybe there'll be like 75 or 80 MP to cast those spells. We'll see. If you guys have any constructive criticism for me, things you want to mention, what you think of the game, please let me know. I would love to hear it once more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, I don't know, it's not like the greatest game in the world, and uh, it, it's just something I've used to practice my programming. So, you know, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Let's go uh, quickly hit up a Cobalt here. What level are we? We have 71 MP. We're going to use a magic spell real quick. We'll use Blood Spirit. Nice. Uh, just so we have a little bit less MP, so you can see once I get into the battle menu here that I have 59 MP. We're going to use magic spells, we're going to use Mana Pulse. Attack lands, it does 91 damage. Great. And we recovered 5 MP. I guess it takes the lower half of what your character level is. So if it's level 11, it's going to give you just 5. If we check our MP, it did go up by 5. 5.5 even. So it, it's just reporting. I should probably fix that. It's only reporting that it gave you 5, but it really gave you 5.5. Oh, no, it didn't. I have 71.5 mana. Okay, so it's working as working fine. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that really quick. Uh, the video is now done. And uh, let's lightning this guy for the win here. Wizard's pretty strong now. We're higher level. We've got lots of items and stuff, so... Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Love you. I want to hear I want to hear what you think. A lot. Thanks guys. Bye.